Hello and welcome to Insight. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Ross Sutherland. Our theme today is really simple. What is there to do with your family and your friends and with your children right here mm -hmm. in town? So we went on a research, you know, somebody had to do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> road trip. <laughs> and we, road trip. Right? <laughs> and it was, it was really fun. And today we have with us one of the places we chose to showcase, and that is the Willamette Art Center. And with us today to talk about what goes on there, we're talking clay now. What mm -hmm. goes on there is Roger Williams. He is the executive director and one of the, uh, one of the instructors for the Family Clay Sunday. Mm -hmm. And that is Hal Matthew. Correct. Welcome. Would you orient us, what is the Willamette Arts Center? How did it get going and what is it up to? The Willamette Arts Center originally came from uh, the Salem Art Association. Mm -hmm. We were affiliated with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we grew bigger and bigger and moved away from the Salem Art Association to the state fairgrounds where we're currently located. And we are predominantly a clay studio. Uh, where we teach all forms of ceramics. We do uh, Japanese raku pottery, we do throw on the wheel, we hand build, and one of the things we feature on every Sunday is Family Clay Sunday, and that's where Hal comes in. And uh, he has just turned that place around in terms of Family Clay Sunday. We have, our Sundays are absolutely jam-packed. Oh, mm -hmm. and when you say jam-packed, the day that I was there, there were about 75 people there. Mm -hmm. What do they get there on Family Clay Day? What do you do? Well, I, des I design projects for people. Mm -hmm. Usually I design uh, one project that's a little difficult and one that's easy because mm -hmm. as you noted, there's a quite a wide uh, range of ages. A uh, three-year-old kid can, you know, probably not do something that's very complicated. So try to make them something simple to do. But uh, what they get is, um, well, I think when kids work with clay, I think it helps build their confidence, mm -hmm. mm. Uh, and they get an exposure to art. Which, uh, sadly, the schools have uh, lost a lot of their art programs. Absolutely. So this is a way for you know a way for them to connect with uh, mm -hmm. you know, with art. And um, do they have to go more than once to get their project completed? Well, it's a kind of a cycle. We have a way of suckering people in, so they have to keep coming <laughs> back. <laughs> uh, they come and make something one w Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, then it dries, and then by the end of the week we fire it, so it's bisque fired, and so then they come back that Sunday and decorate and glaze it, and then make another project with wet uh -huh. clay. Uh -huh. And then, then the next weekend, they can come back and pick up the finished glazed thing, and they're uh, ready to be painted project from last week, <laughs> and make another project <laughs> for the next week. It's like week. a chain letter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I is. see how this works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it sounds like so much fun. Why don't we just take people there? That Sunday was so much fun. Why don't uh, we take a look at the video? Sure. I think okay. it speaks for itself. Okay, that'd be a good again. Let's when I first saw it, I thought that it was really, really cool, but when it was done glazed, it was more than really, really cool. It was awesome and spectacular. I like their artwork. It's very hands-on, and they get to learn and play with clay, and the mess is here, so I don't have to clean it up. <laughs> so. Something nice to do on a Sunday when you have no other activities. Yeah. You know, you just come here and well, make you whatever you want. <laughs> You have to come three times, the first time to create, and the second time to paint, and then the third time you get to see your finished piece. My experience with clay was that I took ceramics as a child, and then I took some, I took a, like a LACU ceramics class in college. I do more knitting by hand, and um, I've done some painting, but yeah, I haven't done this in years, but it's really fun. I'm glad I'm here today. You can come for two hours and you can just play with the clay and make whatever you want and remake it. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just it's generally fun. And you can uh, make wing patterns like this. A stick. Then you can attach it onto the side like that. Okay? 
I think Salem needs more community kind of things. There aren't that many community things that, that kids and parents can attend, and this is one. And, and uh, we want to keep this healthy, we want to keep it growing, and, uh, and I'm sure it will. I love that little girl's oh, smile. Oh, wow, that looks like fun. <laughs> yeah, it does. So yeah, tell us more sweet. about your, your backgrounds in uh, ceramics. Well, my background's very limited. I only took ceramics to fill a requirement when I was in college. And then when I, I d retired on a Thursday, I was mentioning yeah. earlier, by Sunday I was bored stiff. And I, looked, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I looked on uh, the internet and I found the Willamette Art Center. And so I went down there. And so for the past eight years, I've been taking classes there. I've taken many of them myself. And that's wh how I got into it. Mm. Hal's a, has a lot different story. I have, uh, I started with clay about 50 years ago. Oh. I've <laughs> never taken any classes, but I, I got, uh, when I was in graduate school, I got hired to mix clay for the college and uh, ah. watched the potter making pots and knew I had to do that. So I've been working at it for a long time. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, when I came here from Missoula about three years ago, in Missoula I had a studio adjoining a uh, studio that had children in it and they ah. used to come to my, and I've been hand building with little kids for a long time mm. and now um, I get to do it with lots of little kids. That's great. Well, it's pretty yeah pretty crowded there that day and uh, it's growing isn't it that yeah whole it family? seems yeah it's we never know how many people are going to show up but we've had up to 95 people packed into that well and place. it really speaks to ceramics being something that you don't have to have you don't have to have worked on it for years and years and years as it coming into it you can either like you have done it for years you and years, or you can just yeah, start out. Yeah, you can out. enter at any level. Yeah, that's like wonderful. Like that one woman in the video where she said, I hadn't done this for years, and mm -hmm. she was right back into it. Yeah. 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 We see a lot of that, a lot of people r rediscovering their child and enjoying that. I'm not sure I ever left mine. <laughs> I, love, I love working with clay. I really do. It's just getting yeah, in there and doing it. Yeah, it's, it's a magnetic thing. When people get their hands in clay, they just sort of lose track of everything else. If somebody wants to get involved with working with clay and your organization, the Willamette Arts Center, how do they get in touch with you? You can look us up online at willametteartcenter.com. Uh, you can also physically come out and visit us. We're on the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. We have a location we don't have an address. So you're going to have to come in the yellow gate on Portland or Silverton Road, directly across the street from a yellow uh, market. Drive straight into that gate and we're off to the left. Can't miss us. Big sign. <laughs> Hours? Uh, Monday through Thursday, we're open from uh, 10 o'clock until 8. And then on Fridays, we're open from 10 to 4. Saturdays from uh, 10 to 4. And Sundays, of course, when Hal is there. Yeah. Uh, it's a busy day. It's kind of hard to, to do anything but family clay. It's mm -hmm. you know, we're not, essentially not open for anything but that on Sundays. Yeah. And that's from uh, noon? Noon to, uh, no, well, from 1 to 4. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today. Well, thank Insight. you for having us. Well, I appreciate it very much. Yeah.